So here is problem three. And as you can see, there is a lot of numbers. Um, but these numbers, they repeat. For example, we have one, right? One here. Well, this one doesn't, doesn't appear in every single one of these parentheses, but it does appear another time. And um, there's just a lot of repeating and different combinations out of the five numbers. One, one half, one third, one fourth, and one fifth. So this type of problem is, um, I wouldn't say common, but I wouldn't say rare either. So it's a good grasp to get, to get hold of. And since there's so many numbers here, it would be impossible for you to try to do the distributive property for every single one of them. So here to make things easier, we're really being tasked with substitution. So first, what's a group or series of numbers you see in every single parenthesis? Well, there's, it's always the sum of one half, one third, one even one fourth. See, they appear in every single one. So we can give them a variable, a. Say, so let's rewrite them as a. And then we will have the new one, the new equation uh, expression, which is one plus a times a plus one fifth minus one plus a plus one fifth times a. So this C all of a sudden it looks way simpler. So this is how we rewrite it. Now we can use the distributive property to um, get some get some terms out of this. So first we have a plus one fifth plus a squared plus one fifth a. So that's what we get after multiplying the first two parentheses together. And then the second section would be just a factored in. So a plus a squared plus one fifth a. All right, and this is in parentheses. So now what can we cancel out here? What is the same in each of these? Well, we have one fifth a, we have a, and we have a squared. So what's left? The only one left is one fifth. So one fifth is our answer. There's another way to do this as well, actually. So you can think of this as, well, you can think of this as sections of a fish, I guess. So one half plus one third plus one fourth, you can think of as the fish body. The one you can fish, think of as a fish head, and you can think of one fifth as the fish tail. So the body is always there, right? It, you have So you first have the head and the body um, it, times the body and the tail minus the entire fish times the body. So in this type of problem, if you see any repetitions like this, especially there's like a group of fractions or numbers that always repeat, plus with two other or more values, you always take the head, which in this case is one, and you take the tail, which in this case is one fifth, and you just multiply them together. So with that, you can get one times one fifth, which is also equal to our final answer. So thank you for watching Through Positive Kids and see you in problem.